Good morning, Cougars. It is Monday, April 2nd. Good morning. Good Ex- morning to you, too. Are you excited about Iowa assessments this week? I sure am. I am, too. All right. Remember, we got our Iowa assessments this week. For those of you in the 9th, 10th, and 11th grades, we've got to take these tests and do our best. Hey, we're only taking three tests this year as opposed to, I believe we used to take five, maybe even six tests. Uh, we're only taking three this year. Uh, the district has cut down the number of tests that we have to take, which is a great thing. Science, math, and reading is what we're doing. Uh, so uh, do your very best. Ask for you to just put forth the very best effort that you can. Get yourself uh, good results back showing uh, your, your growth and helping you identify those areas you need to work on. Um, and of course, uh, we've got lots of fabulous opportunities for you to get sweatshirts and t-shirts and certificates and have uh, your name entered in for drawings for uh, parking spaces and activity passes. And of course, don't forget pizza and donuts for attendance. So make sure you do your very best, uh, get some rest tonight, uh, have a good breakfast tomorrow, and do your, do your best on those tests. Uh, today's uh, homeroom was hopefully uh, organizationally well structured and you're ready to go. Uh, band members will be picking up and delivering gre- giving bean coffee and butter braid orders Tuesday, April 3rd. Band members must pick up by 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, in Spanish class news, the winners of Friday's rap battles are Fifth Hour, Felicidades, a uh, Hora Cinco. Bueno. Uh, WPA is Friday. Cost is $5 in advance or at the door. Tickets go on sale this week. Students wishing to bring a non Kennedy guest, you must have that person registered. By tomorrow, that is Tuesday, at 1 p.m. in the main office. After 1 p.m., we are taking the list away, and there will be no exceptions. No guest may be over the age of 20. No guest may be below ninth grade. And everyone needs an ID to enter the dance. That includes Kennedy students as well. Proceeds from the dance will benefit local charities. That is from six to six. I'm sorry, from 8 to 11 on Friday. Students, a reminder: no backpacks or other large bags may be brought to school dances. This includes WPA. Small purses are allowed. However, all will be subject to search prior to entering the dance. That is, no bags, no backpacks are allowed in WPA. If you have one, you'll be told to go put it in your car or find someone to take it from you at the door. Do not come to the, ba- we won't take the bags, they will not sit with us. Students interested in taking government, government or economics need to see their counselors and fill out online registration forms by tomorrow, April 3rd. The form takes a couple of minutes to complete. The cost is $75 per course. Vocal auditions for the 2018-19 Kennedy Choirs and Show Choirs will be held Wednesday. You can get an audition form and sign up for a time outside the choir room. All students interested in the show choir next year must complete a vocal audition. If you cannot sing on the 4th, you must arrange a different time with the directors. For more information, see Mr. Ziegler, Mr. Muters, or any Kennedy Choir member. Junior leadership opportunities. Attention juniors with leadership experience. Self-nominations are being accepted for the National Council on Youth Leadership, class for 2018-19. To be eligible, you must have been elected to a leadership position and you must have a 3.0 GPA. Students are nominated not only based upon grades, but also leadership in school activities, religious organizations, and community activities. Kennedy staff members also help with the nominating process. If you are a junior and interested in applying for NCYL, please stop in the counseling office ASAP. Everything must be turned in by Thursday, April 5th by 3 p.m. The PTA scholarship is, uh, is available. Applications are due Friday, April 6th. Sophomores, if you're interested in, in um, designing the class t-shirt, you would like to submit a design, you need to see Hannah, Betsy, Kira, Madison, or Miss Bova. Those submissions are due this Friday. Attention all writers, the r- deadline for written submissions to Plain Brown Rapper is Friday, April 6th. That's for the written submissions. Send those to pbwsubmissions at gmail.com. However, if you are going to be submitting artwork, that is due on Friday, April 13th. PBW will only be accepting artwork digitally this year. If you'd like to be published, please scan or otherwise digitize your drawing, painting, or photo into a JPEG file and send it to pbwsubmissions at gmail.com. If you need help with that, you can see Ms. Baber in the IMC or your art teacher, or heck, even come see me. I can help you do it. Friday, April 13th is the deadline. You want to raise money to fight childhood cancer, then support the, the Mini Dance Marathon this Saturday from 6 to 9 in the cafeteria. Uh, Kennedy's own Jack Hager's foundation, I Know Jack, will be f- featured as part of this dance. Come on out for a really fun, exciting time, April 7th, in the cafeteria. Tuesday, April 10th, during Smart Time, our last STEM speaker will be here. This will be an interactive session with senior test engineer from Skyworks Solutions, and we'll focus on computer coding. Space will be limited to 30 participants since there's an interactive component, so sign up now. Sign-up sheet is on the door outside 271. See Ms. Helwig in 271 if you have any questions. Sophomores and juniors, the Workplace Learning Connection Fall 2018 internship applications are due Friday, April 13th at 3 p.m. 
Those are for 30, 45 or 90 hour activities. See Mr. Goodlove if you have any questions. National Art Science National Honor Society members are required uh, to have their, um, their service and learning uh, requirements fulfilled by Wednesday, April 18th. So make sure you have that done to Ms. Steinmetz in 224. You need to pick up a form from her. And student government is sponsoring the, the, an event to learn the sport of curling. The event will be held April 18th at the Ice Arena. Ice Arena. There is no cost to you. Everyone under 18 must have a form completed by Mr. in Mr. B's room at 164. Please see Mr. B if you have any questions. Attention, sophomores and juniors, the Ryla Ruth Yord Rotary, I can't get this right, Rotary Youth Leadership Award, which is a six-day conference held at Grinnell College over the summer, is for you. Students uh, from all over the state will apply to attend. The conference is held July 15th to the 20th, and the conference costs $450, but Rotary will pay for you to go. They will pay all of your expenses if you sign up for an application for a scholarship. Those applications are due Monday, April 30th. Pick them up in the counseling office. Do not miss out on this awesome opportunity. Birthdays today, happy birthday to Amadeus Borchert, Matthew Drake, uh, Raya Habhab, uh, Ashton Hageman, Catherine O'Connell, Dalton Stutt, and Aiden Toomer. Happy, happy birthday to you. For, uh, activities for today, we've got JV2 Girls Soccer at Jeff tonight, 415. And we've got JV1 Girls Tennis at, here at home, 430. Come on out and cheer them on against Wash. Our boys, JV1, is over at Wash at 4.30. Uh, track and field, boys JV at Muscatine at 4.30 today. And the boys JV2 soccer team is at Jeff at 5.45. So good luck to all of our Cougars competing tonight. Spring sports are here. Lunch menu for today. What do we got going on? We got Station 1, 2, burger basket with fries. Station 3, hot dogs and breaded chicken, salad, subs, and parfaits. Station 4, pasta bar with breadstick. Station 5, chicken nuggets with Parmesan butter noodles and mixed vegetables. Alternate is cheese pizza. This is an interesting combination, chicken nuggets and butter noodles. Wow. That's mixing things up. I love it. Uh, remember, Iowa assessments tomorrow. Let's do our very best. As always, go Cougs.